Good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm trying to be quiet because my husband is sleeping. Um, today we are starting our workout challenge, fasting, all of that. I'm going to show you a little time lapse of my workout and then I'll catch up with you after. I just finished my workout. It took me 53 minutes. I burned 500 calories. I feel like I can't walk. Um, I feel like I'm so out of shape. <laughs> like my form was not good. Don't judge me. Um, all my cute owl matching sets that I wear to like motivate me during my workouts. Um, I purchased them when I was like 30 pounds less. So I also look like a sausage. But um yeah, I just finished and I'm just like sitting here like and I finished um, last week's vlog right now. I still have some stuff to like add to it and of course link stuff, thumbnail, whatever. But I need to film the skincare video today and like upload it and get it all ready. Um, I'm waiting for my husband to wake up to do that. I was going to also see if he wanted to go walk with me for like an hour because I want to do a walk as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just working on what I can right now. I also want to show you guys um, what I'm doing every morning. So I bought this book from Target. And this is something that I want to do every morning and every night. So this is what I'm about to do right now. I want to do this after my workout every morning. Because I used to meditate on my balcony. But like since we switched units, I don't do that anymore. Because it's not the same relaxing view. Um, it's like kind of like loud so um, this is what I'm going to do right now I'm just in my office it's today's focus and affirmation what I'm grateful for what I'm excited about today how I'll make space for gratitude today so this was I think like $13 at Target but if you don't have this um, just write these things down in like you know a play notebook and then this is what I'll do before bed Good things that happened today, things I did to make a positive difference today, how I felt, notes, a positive thought to carry me to sleep. So I'm about to do this right now. And then I was thinking um, every morning we can do these together. So I normally hang these on my closet in my room, but since we're going to be out of town for the majority of this challenge, I'm just going to take them with me. So for each day, you want to mark your mood, your energy. You want to tick off that you did the workout um, at the end of the day to make sure you followed your meal plan. For me, it's fasting. Non-fasting days, I think I'm going to do like raw vegan. Then there's a self-care task for each day. So you just pick something each day you want to do for yourself and then you tick it off. So I'll be showing you guys this as I check them off. So I'm just going to work on those two right now and work on last week's vlog and like phone calls and stuff I want to do until my husband wakes up. And then I'll probably film like later on today because um, I want to take a shower after I work out if we go on a walk or something and wash my hair and then film the skincare video when I'm like fresh out of the shower. So I'll check in with you after um, and I'll show you when I fill in these forms.
Hi guys, I'm just over here working away at my videos. Um, the funniest thing is I have Saturday's video already uploaded and ready for Saturday, but today's Monday and I need my video for tomorrow. I haven't even filmed it or edited it yet. I could probably do it tomorrow anyways too. But um, I was waiting on my husband. He woke up a little bit ago and we were gonna go on a walk and then it just started pouring. Let me see if I can show you guys out my window right now, like from my office. It is beautiful. I don't know if you can see, I don't, you probably can't see the rain anymore. It may have also stopped, but on these little mountains over here, there's snow on top. It's just been like really pretty. If you're not from LA, you're probably like, what is the big deal? But it never gets cold here and it never rains here. So that's my favorite kind of weather because I'm from the Bay. You already know. <laughs> and I'm just being extra, but um, yeah, that's my favorite kind of weather. So I'm super excited. It's supposed to rain all week. And then we leave early Sunday morning. I think it's pretty like sunny in Miami, but I do know Florida like rains randomly. Their weather is so weird out there, but I think it's gonna be a little warmer than it will be here. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna do our walk, but that's fine because I completed my challenge workout and I can barely walk as it is. Yeah, I've been fasting so far. This is my fourth cup. Um, I have five to do a gallon, so that's really good, finally. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just finishing up this video and I need to take a shower and wash my hair. And then I'm either gonna film my skincare video today or tomorrow. I'm shooting for today. But it's like one of those pretty days where you just wanna like snuggle up and watch TV and it's so freezing. I have my little blanket here with me in the loft. Um, but yeah, I did get a lot done in my opinion. I didn't get like flustered or overwhelmed and like give up on everything. I am kind of like regretting the fact that I always feel like fasting is the only way I can lose weight because when you're hungry and you're working out a lot, it does get frustrating and you have to have like the strongest mental. And the thing is, whenever I am successful at fasting, it's always because that's like the main thing I'm focusing on. Um, and I don't do well at like balancing. I know I've told you guys this before, but like I don't do well at balancing several things. So trying to balance fasting with working out, with work, with you know, going on the trip, it's like a lot of pressure. So I'm really trying, um, you know, as hard as I can to fast. But if I don't, I mean, I can easily make a protein shake and I'll probably lose the same amount because that happened to me last week. Like, so normally when I fast, I'll lose about two pounds a day. Oh, it's pouring. Let me see if I can show you real quick. Hi. I'm screaming because I'm like trying to film the window and show you guys that it was pouring. I guess it was actually hail, but my husband FaceTimed me because he was on the balcony. <laughs> He's like all bundled up in his blanket out on the balcony and he was trying to show me that it was hailing and we're both so excited. But again, if you're not from LA or California, you're probably like, that's not a big deal. But yeah, I don't remember what I was doing. I was rambling per usual, but yeah, my point was it's been a productive day and I'll check in with you after. Good morning guys, it's Tuesday right now. It's 10.15 in the morning and I'm going to go for a walk because for my workout on my challenge app, um, it says to do a 60 minute walk and then abs. So I'm gonna go do my normal hour walk, pretty easy for me, um, and then grab a Nordstrom drive up order on the way home and then I'll do the abs when I get back. I'll check in with you guys and um, bring you up to date on everything. I didn't vlog a ton yesterday. I was just really tired from like fasting and my workout for the first day. It's so hard to walk, like my quads are so sore, my hamstrings, my butt, everything. It's like very hard to sit down, like even in the car. Um, but yeah, so just catching you up and I'll check in with you in a little bit. I'm done with my walk now. I did my little hour. Um, I actually placed two more Nordstrom drive orders on my walk. Um, and they're not going to be ready till tomorrow, so I'm just going to pick up all three tomorrow. And before I go home right now, I'm going to go stop at Trader Joe's. I wanted to get some hydrangeas for the house because I love having fresh flowers. And they'll die within like four days, so they'll be dead before we go on our trip. So I wanted to grab that. I'm going to grab Ray a few things and see if there's any like little healthy snacks for the flight. Um, part of my meal plan that they give me, because they give me macros and they give me a meal plan. Um, like custom, like I chose the vegan one, but... Since I'm fasting, I'm not following the meal plan, but 
the days I eat I'm either gonna do like raw vegan or follow the meal plan at least stay within like the macros or calories and they have a recipe for roasted chickpeas I've never tried it but you just get chickpeas you mix it with a little oil like I would use avocado oil and then lime and chili seasoning like paprika and um yeah, you just like bake them till they're crunchy and this supposed to be like a good little snack with protein. So I'm thinking of maybe making that or just seeing what they have. I did buy those like um, Smart Sweets peach rings from Target I showed you guys. But hasn't already ate them. <laughs> so I'll have to buy extra of whatever I buy. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to bring my camera in because it's so weird with COVID and stuff. There's like lines to get in. It's crowded. It's weird. It's like <laughs> too much. It's like overwhelming, you know. So I'll just meet you guys at home. Hi guys, um, I just finished my workout, just the rest of it, the abs, and now I'm just gonna try to like pick up the house. I wanna clean the whole house today. So I'm just in my office like picking up. For some reason, these little wallpaper thingies keep coming off because you're supposed to put on scotch tape. So I'm going to fix that and just start cleaning. Hi guys, so I'm just about to start my cleaning routine. Um, as I told you before, I cleaned my office. My office, I'm like so OCD, my office doesn't really need much. I was just trying to like retack those wallpapers to the wall um, and like fluff up my couch. That was basically it, I'm charging my vacuum. But what I like to do when I clean, I like to have like a little routine so that things are, you know, getting done as I'm cleaning. So what I do first is like pick up all around the house. I grab everything from like the kitchen counters, the living room, like anything that's not put away, I put that away first. Then after I put that away, I'll take the bedding off the bed and I'll put that in the wash. And then typically I'll wash my bedding and I'll wash my clothes while I'm cleaning. And then I will put away all the clean dishes that are in the dishwasher right now and then put the dirty ones in there. And then I'll start by cleaning the kitchen and then the living room and then I'll do the bedroom and then my bathroom. And then my husband typically will clean his office studio and then his bathroom, which is right here by the kitchen. Um, and then typically he'll do the floors for me because before when I didn't have the Dyson vacuum I used to like use a regular broom and you know I have back problems every time for some reason that I swept It was like the way I was bending I would like pinch my back So he typically does the floors for me, which is nice So it shouldn't take too long, but like he's gonna be cleaning his stuff while I clean and he might have to go to work I think but yeah, I'm just gonna work on cleaning. I was like getting a few things together for packing so I'll adjust that like later in the week. But yeah, I'm gonna do my little time lapse and I'll just be cleaning. I literally haven't gotten like anything done. Um, I'm not even done putting the dirty dishes away and then, you know, I put the clean ones in there and start cleaning. I sliced my finger open cleaning a steak knife. So I'm trying to apply pressure so it could stop bleeding because it won't stop bleeding. And then my battery is dying. And then I had you guys propped up. I tried a candle, it wasn't working, it fell. I tried this, it fell. How could it be so stable? And then all of a sudden, Five minutes later, it just falls off. It fell onto the lens, so thank God for the insurance. I'm just like a mess right now. So I'm gonna switch the battery out, and um, after this stops bleeding, switch the battery out, and we'll continue on with this exciting content. <laughs> It's like 
four or five hours later now than the last time I saw you. I don't know why it's taking me so long to clean. Um, my husband had to go to work, so he couldn't help me with the floors. It's taking me so long. I did like three loads of laundry. I did all the bedding, my clothes, blankets. Um, yeah, I toilets, tubs, like literally the whole house. And then right now, I'm waiting for the vacuum to charge. I only have to finish vacuuming the rug in the living room and like one little corner I need to vacuum and mop, but I'm waiting for the vacuum to charge. It takes forever. So I'm gonna like rest for like 30 more minutes until that's done, then take a shower and wash my hair and literally just like stay in bed the rest of the night. So I'll probably catch up with you guys in the morning. I'll probably end up going to make my meal prep tomorrow because my energy is so low, like, it's just a lot to go from like not doing weight since like September, October and then also fasting. So I'm just out of energy and I have so much to do this week. So I'm going to see in the morning but I might go like get stuff to make my protein shake and different meal prep stuff. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys. I think I already said good morning. But it was so early I don't even remember. Um, right now it's 1040 and I have to go to my tattoo removal. It's at 1130 so I was thinking of leaving early to go do my Nordstrom pickups because all three of them are ready. But I don't know if I'm going to have time because sometimes I take a long time to like bring it out and then I'm kind of like going away from the freeway. Let me see how long it's going to take me to get there. But either way um, I can always pick it up today after my friend leaves because she's coming at 2 to help me with the lashes and if my husband's off I was going to see if he wanted to like run errands with me I wanted to go to Beverly Hills to go to Owl Yoga again because the sports bra I wanted I bought these pants so okay let me let me um, I'm going to do like a huge Owl Yoga haul I placed two huge orders this week right but one of the pants I bought, the matching sports bra, was only at the store in Beverly Hills. They didn't have it online. So I wanted to go there, and then I also wanted to go to the Louis Vuitton store in Rodeo, which is like two streets over, because I need to drop off my purse. Um, like, the little thing on the strap is, like, coming undone, and then there's, like, a little mark on it. I think it was from hand sanitizer. Um, and then my husband's wallet, I think I said. I'm so tired and, like, low energy. My husband's wallet is coming apart at the seam so I was gonna drop those two off but I don't know if he wants to go with me um to go see those or not yeah I'm trying to look like a little less homeless today I'm in my target fit it will be linked it was in the other vlog but yeah I have like some hauls to do for you tonight but I'm gonna probably just go to touch removal come home meet with my friend and then do the stuff afterwards so I will take you in and show you if I can if they allow me to film I've known the lady for like over five years she's amazing she's always done my tattoo removal so I'm pretty sure she'll let me but I'm gonna also show you what my tattoo looks like right now if you didn't know I've been getting tattoo removal for over five years it'll be six years in August um, I removed one two three four tattoos the first three just came like right off um but then this one she was just she's just awful you know she was done twice and i think they said there's like lead in it so let me just show you that and then i'll be on my way
Um, the two, yeah. the the two that I placed yesterday, um, it showed. <laughs> oh, there's someone at my window. Hi. Are you picking up? Yes. Oh, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, I was speaking to her on the phone. I have three orders, um, but it wasn't letting me check in. And you're picking them up, right? Yes. Okay. Let me just type in one. I'll bring you the rest. Okay. Thank you. Seven nine six seven four eight zero zero. And then there was these the two. I think. Yeah, okay. these may have been shipped from a different store. I think. Okay. I'll check to see what we have. Okay. To bring those to thank you. you thank you. Okay. Should I open the back window? Is it easier for you? Bags. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. So it was a three. It was like two from yesterday. Probably got from another store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Of course, thank you. I'll leave it here in the back. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Hello. So I am back now from tattoo removal and my Nordstrom pickup, and I also went to Ralph's. I'm eating today. I could fast longer, but I need some energy. So I just made avocado toast, and I'm snacking on these healthy little crackers I think I've showed you guys before. They're really good. I think they're made from sweet potato and rice. So, I have all these packages that I got in the mail and the Nordstrom pickup. I placed two big Ala Yoga orders. Um, I placed one Sunday night, one Monday, and they both came, I think, on Tuesday. So I have those to show you guys. I bought something for my car. I have some gym stuff. I have two PR things and then my Nordstrom order. So I'm gonna just quickly show you what we got. So the first box is from Dossier. I got three more fragrances sent to me. Let me just tell you guys, we will talk about these in other videos. You'll see them talked about for sure. But let me just tell you, I just smelt this one. Yep. This one is a dupe for the Lava Rose. We're not getting into the whole spiel right now, but I can't handle how much this smells like it. I got so excited when I got these in the mail. So, you'll be seeing these across my channel, of course, but I love these fragrances. I love that they're affordable, and I love how good they smell. So, they sent me these three. Then, I've been wanting to show you guys Good Molecules sent me this new eye cream. This is the Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel, formulated to help revitalize and energize the eye area. So, as you know, Good Molecules is sold by Beautylish, which is kind of like an online Sephora, and they're really affordable. It's never tested on animals. They source things like um, direct in foreign countries rather than like going through um, bigger companies and then the people that are actually sourcing the ingredients are not getting paid. Like how they pay people in other countries, five cents, 10 cents, they don't do that. They take care of them. Um, so let's see, it's showing that these ingredients in here come from the rainforest in Brazil, pesticide free, all that so it's all responsible and can you believe it's only six dollars also what i wanted to mention was recently they changed the packaging and now you can get all the ingredients on the box so they don't hide anything most skincare companies won't show you exactly everything that's in there but they show you every single ingredient and how much they put in there which i love and i've been seeing a lot about this on instagram that it's deep puffing and it looks really good and lord knows my under eyes need help it comes in a little tube like this so we'll be trying this Everything I use from them is amazing. Let me see. Ooh, I don't want to waste it, but it's like this yellow green gel. And I also, I can't smell it. It doesn't really smell like anything. But I also know that um, for your eyes, a gel is better because your under eyes can't absorb the eye creams we're using. So they say gels are supposed to be better. I can't wait. This feels really, really good. Let me just put it on the back of my hand so that I'm moisturized. By the way, I don't know if I showed you my tattoo. This is what it looks like um, normally when it's done. It's swollen and it's red. I don't know if you can see how this is like sticking off my body right here. But yeah, it hurts. But you just put um, aloe vera in the fridge and put it on there. She thinks it could be off by summer because I go every eight weeks. But my six years of removing this specific one will be August 1st. So... Hopefully it's gone by then. Oh, this was also sent for free. It's not like PR or anything, but um, the fitness challenges I do, it's called Bodies by Rachel. I always link it for you guys. If not, it's called Bodies by Rachel. And because I'm like a little VIP, I don't know, that's what the email said. My sister said she didn't get it because I thought they were just sending it to everybody. 
but essentially I did like three to four challenges in 2020 and you know 2020 was a hard year so it was just like a thank you normally I think per year I do three to four challenges anyways but they sent this like little care package goodie bag to thank you like how nice is that I could not believe it I was emailing with them telling them like how sweet this was I like this is worth I think $150 so it's her fitness line. She has all the different like bands and um, I'll show you. Let me just show you. So this one is the medium. So she has the cloth bands and the rubber bands and they come in these little bags. I'll link this down below because you can actually purchase this off their website. But it's just the bands to do for your legs and booty and stuff. So I got sent the medium, the light and the heavy in the cloth bands. Here's the light and here is the heavy. Then, this is a towel with their logo on it. I need this because when I'm working out, I don't know, the workouts are so hard. I get sweaty like around here. So it's a cute little towel. Oh, this is nice. It's not even like printed. You know the cheap ones are printed on there? This is embroidered. This is really, really nice. I love that it's black. Cause like the light ones, I don't know why people use white towels, it's nasty. This is the light um, rubber resistance band. It comes in this mesh bag. And yeah, this is really cute. It's great. It has their logo on it and it's just the really long ones. So there's the shorter ones, like the ones I just showed you, but in rubber, that's also for your legs. This you can put around a door and you can do arms, you can do legs, you can do anything with it. So they sent a light one and they also sent the same thing in heavy. So that's super good. I might take all these to Miami with me to work out in the room we're in. And then lastly is this little box. It says it's a jump rope. How cute is this? Oh, it has their little logo. This is so nice. Like imagine how compact this is to take with you if you're traveling and you want to work out on the go. I'm here for this. I love this. Okay, next I ordered this thing for my car. Um, this will be in like another Tesla video, but this is a console cover. So for my car, the console in the center, like the part that goes up to the little thingy in the middle, it's a console, I don't know how else to say it, it's black shiny. A lot of people say that it's easy to scratch it and also it gets a lot of fingerprints. So a lot of people put the covers on it. So I got a matte black one. I was curious to see how it would look in person because I was a little nervous, but let me see. Oh, this is cute. So this goes over like the furthest part this way. It's the cup holder and you can also put your key card here to control your car. And then this I guess is for like the edge or something. Hopefully it came with instructions. Looks like it came with some tape. And then the other two flaps. So I'm pretty sure you just stick this on like with some 3M. It has some tape on the back of it. Yeah, so it looks like you just peel this off and it's just like a tape. It's really, really nice. I'm excited. I might do that today if I have time. You can also get like carbon fiber. I'll link this down below in case anyone's interested. If you have a Tezzy. Okay, next is gonna be a lot. Let me take a snack break. Look at the size of this. I think each order was like 10 items, I wanna say. When I tell you guys my aloe yoga obsession was real, it's real. So I placed an order Sunday because I wanted to get um, like long sleeve shirts in black and white. I got two different styles in black and in white because all the cute little matching sets I get, they're like a sports bra with a pant. I don't really own that many shirts from them. I own two long sleeves and two tanks, I think. And like a sweatshirt, or two sweatshirts. So. Like I needed stuff to put over because in Miami on our trip, I might be joining a gym there instead of working out in the room because I don't know that I'm gonna take my weights with me. So I wanted something to like be comfortable to wear the workout outfits outside. So they're like um, the two long sleeves I'll tell you. I don't know what else I got, but let me show you. Oh, then this order here, um, they launched a new color on Monday and like if you have the app and you like purchase from the lot, you get VIP access. So I told you already, I use the afterpay method and every time they launch a new color, I have to have it. Cute. 
Oh, and every single order, I get this huge tote bag. I have like probably 20 of these at this point. I ordered 11 items and then they gave me that bag. If you live in LA, um, you could order, like say I ordered this morning, Wednesday morning, it'll get here Thursday. So, and anything doesn't fit, you just put the label back on the bag they send it to you in, pop it in the mail, and then you're done. So, look at this pink color. Let me take this one out of the bag. I'm not going to take them all out of the bag because, well, no, I'll take them all out of the bag. Just wait. So, this was the new color that launched. This is a little baby pink. Can't even handle it. Before I was even into Owl Yoga, they had... um this kind of like pink color but it sold out so fast i never got anything from it um so this is the short i have this short in multiple colors i think i have it in black turquoise and lavender already and then i also ordered in the other order white so i have a pink i might have other colors i can't think right now so yeah that's in pink then i got the same color but in a legging i love having them all in the shorts and in the legging so same thing in a legging Oh, they always um, give you also like a 30-day trial of their program. It's like an online yoga class you could take. And I never use it, but that's fine. They they also just started um, a skincare line. So they sent a little sample pack of their skincare, which is so cute. Made in California. There's a facial cleanser, a serum, a face moisturizer, a body wash, and a glow oil. This is nice because... I kind of wanted to try it, but I was, you know, hesitant on that. So I'm excited to try that. Then I always tell you guys that their sports bras, only a few of them work for me that are like wide enough for a bigger chest. And this pink came in one of the styles. So I was super excited. It's called the emulate bra. It looks like this. This is the texture. Hopefully you could see. Everything will be linked, of course, so if it's not good. Like, if you can't see it on here, it'll be linked. Then I got the same color in the long sleeve and the tank, which I have the black and the teal of the long sleeve and the tank. They're really nice to throw over to work out in. But, for example, like, if the pants were too sheer, I wouldn't keep any of the tops because I love the matching set. Sometimes your lighter colors can be sheer. Like, there was a, a blue one that I purchased last year, and it was just too sheer, so... I had to send that one back but yeah this is the cute little long sleeve it's crossed at the bottom looks like that these are a little sheer then it's like the same exact style but just in a tank instead of the long sleeves so this is the tank version so cute the material is just so soft i don't know how to describe it it's just like really really good quality cotton i don't know what other um let's see oh it's rayon and spandex so it feels like cotton, but it's like that really silky cotton, you know? There's the tank. I don't know why, what What was the reason? Like, why did I buy so many? Oh, I bought two different pairs of the leggings because one is seven eighths and one is full length. So I think I just wanted to see which one fit me better. I kind of like the seven eighths because it like shows your ankle, but yeah, the same color, just a little shorter. So mind you, like, if some of this doesn't look good, it goes back. Like, I buy a lot, like, because I want the whole collection, and then I see what I like, what looks good, and then I send it back. So don't come for me that I'm, like, buying too much, okay? This jacket I actually have in a hot pink, and it's the same color. And it's, like, a cute little crop. I buy this in a large because I like it a little bigger for the tops. I'll see if it's too big, but my other one's a large. But it has a hood and a little half zip. And then a crop. I don't know if the lighting is weird because my pink neon sign is up. And sometimes it makes the lighting of things like kind of weird. Then I'm almost done with this order. Then there's one more. So just hold tight. This is so cute, right? So this came out in the same color. It's a cute little like wife beater material. I know that's not a proper term to use anymore. But like I don't know how else to describe. Ribbed. We could say ribbed. So this is like the same color. It's cropped and it's a little racer back and has aloe on it sometimes i feel like i want to go up a size in the little crops so that they're longer so i might swap these for a large and then i got the same tank in a black and in a white because i always thought it was really cute to try so um i'll see about that i feel like i might need to go up a size but i don't think i have time 
to reorder. Well, I could order it today and it would be able to come in time. And then I would just ship that one back separate. This one I sent in a box because I ordered a visor. So I have this visor from them. It's black and the brim is like a metallic kind of color, like a metallic silver maybe. So I ordered it in white. I'll show it to you. So it can go with like the lighter ones. This is my box. Again, the same skincare samples, so I'm excited I have two. So the visor, the brim looks kind of like weird in here, but the brim is supposed to be like a multicolor with a white. Yeah, it is multicolor. It has this protector on it. So it's like this. But you see how it's kind of like a rainbow? So I thought this would be good for um, like the lighter outfits and then the black one can go with the black outfits. Oh, what did I order? Okay. Okay, so the things that I got in multiple colors, I'll just show you one of them. So this is the one I got in white and black. It's their cropped long sleeve tee that I was telling you that I wanted to just throw over stuff. It feels really nice. Let's see. Oh, this is cute. So I don't know, it might be hard for you to tell. But it's just like a cropped long sleeve. And then I got that in white, like I said, too. Another bag. I told you I have 7 million of these. I forgot what I bought. So, these are shorts that I always see people wear from like Lululemon or Target. They're like a um, a bike short, but with a this kind of bigger short. I don't know how to describe this. Over it, does that make sense? I think a lot of people go running in this and then, I don't know. It's just a high waist circuit short. I don't know if it's gonna be cute or not. I've never tried it, so we'll see. She might go back. Then this one is another one of the long sleeves I wanted to try. Oh, this one's like a little heavier, a little like thicker but stretchier. I don't know how to describe it, but it's a crew neck little crop. It looks the same in person, but I prefer this one over the other one. The over one is like not as soft, but this is double the price of the other one. They kind of like look the same. So I'm going to try the fit to see what fits better. And then the same thing in white. Also, I saw a cute photo of the new collection, the pink. It was like the pink bike short and the pink um, sports bra. And then this white crop long sleeve was over it. It's so cute. And then the same bike short I showed you in pink, I got the white one. That one's not the runner one. That's just like the plain bike short. <laughs> Stretchy one. What is this? Oh, then I got this cute little set. I've been like seeing it for a while. It came out a few months ago, but I wasn't really sure. And then I was like, yeah, I need this. So look at this sports bra. It has this little zipper here. I don't know if you can see. And then it looks like this in the back. So I did go up to a large in this because the different styles, sometimes they're just not big enough. And then I got the matching pant. So it feels super, super stretchy. And then this is the top. So I thought that was really, really cute. And then the last item I got from Aloe, so I got the pants. They're really cute. They show up more purple on camera, but they're really, really cute and really soft. I got this, but they didn't have the matching sports bra. It like zips up. And that's what I wanted to go to the store to get in Beverly Hills, because I have my gift card still. But um, I wanted to make sure I liked the pants and everything. I thought this would be really cute with that color, because it has like that purple in it. Okay, lastly, we have the Nordstrom pickup. Can I talk? We have the Nordstrom pickup. So this, just boring, just some Spanx in case I need it for any of my dresses. Then I got this from Zella. I thought this would be really, really cute with like a black bike short or a black legging, either for like the airport or just walking around. They have so many different colors. They had like blue tie-dye, this one, like a reddish one. They had a whole bunch of different colors. Of course, everything I'm showing will be linked for you down below. Then I got these to try. They actually went on sale. I had them in my cart and then it alerted me they're on sale. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. Um, they are by Blank NYC. And it's this nice leather little like jogger. And then the bottom has, oh, the bottom's not, oh, well, yeah, I think the bottom might be a little cropped, but it doesn't have like elastic or anything. I do have leather leggings, but I was interested to see how these looked on because I thought it'd be really cute just with like a black top and like, Either a sneaker or a clear heel, depending on, you know, how dressy you want to be. Yesterday on my walk, I placed two orders because Naked Wardrobe, like one of my favorite brands, I bought so much um, 
when was it? Black Friday. I think I bought like 40 items because they had half off. So I bought all the tops in black and white, some in brown, some in gray, and then a few of their shorts. But they did a collab with Lori Harvey, and it's super cute, like loungewear. So I decided to get the sweats in a black and then this mocha color. So this is the black. It has a little LH right here. I don't know if you could see it. But they're just like a really good quality sweat. And I sized up to a large because they said it'd be cute like as an oversized fit. And here's the bottom. So I got that in black and in this cool mocha color. I'm super into this color right now and then like the matching sets. It looks better in person. On camera it comes out more brown but it has like a more mocha-ish you know look in person and then I bought the matching tanks to it so this one is the mocha one I went to a large because look at how small these are they're like a little cropped so it comes like a little cropped rib tank again and so that goes with the sweat and then I also got the same tank to go with the black sweat in black a little cute little knot it's like very simple but I feel like stuff like that's super nice then that was a first order and then i thought that maybe i should get some of the tops for like filming or i don't know i don't go anywhere but they're super nice and they're just really cropped so some of them are kind of like a bra length but i'll um link it all down below because it's probably not as cute just hanging it what it's probably not as cute just showing it to you like this but for example this one has a long sleeve on this side and it just has this little tank on this side so it looks like this then i got them all in black by the way they had black white and the dark brown and some of it they had gray i think too then oh i got these all from nordstrom's i think i said that they sell them on the naked wardrobe site or nordstrom site this one is like super short i hope it covers my chest <laughs> and it's off the shoulder and then it has a little hole in here and then the last one and then i'm done with my long haul is this black one oh it's like is this the inside or the outside that is the inside yo someone tried it on Blech. Blech. it looks like oh it looks like this so it's like a one shoulder and it has this little loop and it's cropped so that's everything i got um my friend wasn't able to come to help me with the lashes today she had some stuff going on, so I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day. I'm just about to work out right now. I'm so sore and tired. My back is like so pinched and sore. Not really pinched, but like it's so sore. So I'm going to do this workout and get to it with the after. Hi guys, today's Thursday. Um, I checked in with you this morning when I did my workout and Tesla was supposed to come to my house to um, replace like this little liner in the front. That's a whole long story but uh, at 11 o'clock I looked at the app and they had like changed my appointment to February when I'm not even going to be here. They didn't notify me. They didn't ask me. I like um, arranged my whole week around the appointment you know what I mean? Whatever, so I was just kind of annoyed. I tried on like all that Owl Yoga and Nordstrom stuff that I um, showed you guys yesterday. Uh, out of both orders, I kept four pieces. I kept the black and white long sleeve cropped, kind of like soft hoodie. The more expensive one, of course, because the other one, the cheaper one, it felt like really cheap. It just didn't feel as soft. So I kept those two. I kept those um, orchid color leggings and then the little visor. The pink collection, all the bottoms were sheer. So I was so, so upset because I love the color and I wanted to keep the tops. Um, but like you could see every crevice and crack and everything going on. It was not okay. Even if I work at home, I don't want to be looking like that. So, um, so right now I took a shower, I got dressed and I need to drop off the stuff that I'm not keeping at the UPS store. So those are two boxes. Then I need to go to the Louis store to drop myself off for maintenance, which I told you guys about. Um, then... Hi. That girl looks miserable. Then, um, I need to go to Aloe, which is by the Louis store, because I want to get the matching sports bra, I think I told you guys this. Um, and maybe the matching hoodie, but I wore the white one with it today, it looked really cute. But I want to call Louis... 
on the way to confirm um, that the Rodeo store is still open because they were like opening something else nearby. That's pretty much it. Um, I did eat yesterday and I was planning on eating today. We gotta sit down and have like a long talk. I don't know. My husband just thinks my fasting thing is like a bad idea because I keep ending up in like the same place where like I fast and then I gain it back. Like I'll be so happy and lose all of it and I'll gain it back. So whatever. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I see like both sides about it. So anyways, um, let's go to the UPS store and then we'll go to Louie and Aloe and then I'm going to film me putting on the little console cover down here that I showed you guys. But that will probably be in um, my Tesla video. So that's the only thing on my agenda today. I might stop by and see my sister or see if she wants to come over. I have like a little sweat outfit I bought for her. And then I just want to see her like before I go on my trip. Um, I still need to drop my keys off to her but I won't be able to do that till like end of day Saturday because I have like my house key. I want her to have like my house key, my mail key, my car key. So yeah. Let's get to it. So at Alo Yoga, they didn't have a medium in the sports bra I wanted to try on. They only had a large. It looked kind of big around like the band. Um, and it had like makeup and deodorant on there. So they put a medium and a large on hold for me at the Palisades location, which is maybe like 20, 30 minutes from where I'm at. Uh, trying to find parking for Louie was like unreal. It took me like four laps and then I parked two or three or four blocks away like far away then i had to wait in line and then it was fast once i went in there um but yeah so i'm about to head to the palisades and go to al yoga so none of i don't know if it's focused but none of the Sports bras worked. I did not like it. It was not flattering. I'm just not comfortable with this weight. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait. I wore white with it today, so it's fine. But right now, I'm just gonna walk to this bougie grocery store to get some healthy food, and that's all. So I am done. I got some cauliflower and vegan mashed potatoes from the healthy place. And I got these bomb vegan chicken tamales for later. Um, I'm gonna try to drive to my sister's now. It's like pretty far and I should have went pee because I drink so much water and it's gonna be a long drive. So I'll check in with you guys then. Hi guys, so um, I was on my way to my sister's house but when I mapped her address from where I was at, I basically was like halfway between Santa Monica and Malibu if you know LA. Um, it said I would have like 20% battery when I got there and I'm still getting used to this battery thing Right now it has 87. So I just pulled up to the place by my house because it's on my way to her house um, I'm gonna plug it into charge and then while I do that I'm gonna go return the stuff at Nordstrom, which is here um, That didn't fit me from the haul I showed you guys. So yeah, I'll check in with you in a little bit Oh my gosh right now. It's 840. I just got home from my sisters. I'm so tired Like I don't even know what the purpose of Everything I did today, like, as far as my errands, it was just, like, pointless. I was gone all day long for, like, seven hours. Obviously, spending time with my sister, I'm not talking about that, but, like, all the running around to get a sports bra, like, psh, psh, that was dumb. Um, it started pouring right before I left my sister, so it was supposed to rain today, and then it didn't rain, so I was like, oh, okay, it's not going to rain today. I was wearing slides, mind you, like a sandal. It started pouring before I left her house. Her and her boyfriend walked me to the car with an umbrella because I had like no hood, no proper shoes on. When I left her house, there was like lightning that lit up the sky and then it was pouring so hard. That was the scariest drive home on the freeway. Like everyone was going 40 with their flashers on. Since LA never gets rain, like the freeways flood so easy. So it was almost like a little bowl like this. So like all the water is like sitting and not draining properly. And then when the car goes by, all the water is like splashing up at you so you can't see on your windshield. Oh my God. It was just, it was a lot. It was scary. So my husband's working. I'm about to text him like, if it's raining like this, you should sleep at the studio and don't drive home because yeah, this is scary. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to 
shower and get into bed. Um, I'm just really tired. I need to put heat on my back because my back is really sore. So, yeah. I will see you in the morning when we get up for our workout. It's Saturday morning. Hopefully you can see me. The lighting is so weird. I'm like in the sun. I'm at a stoplight. Um, it's Saturday morning. I did my workout. I didn't film it. Um, yesterday, I only vlogged my workout for you guys. I worked out and then um, I took a shower and then all I did was edit this week's vlog. And then I basically stayed in bed the rest of the day. Um, I just wasn't feeling well and... I was kind of like half asleep during my workout this morning. I just did arms. So I worked out, I showered, and right now um, I have a nail appointment in about an hour, but I went to go charge my car. Dumb me, didn't look at the thing. Like there was no stalls available. So I was waiting in a line. I was third in line. Um, so there was no stalls. So I didn't have that much time. So I'll just charge it after the nail appointment. And I'm just gonna get some cash out at Chase for tip and then get my ring cleaned across the street and then go to my nail appointment. So I will um, probably vlog my nails for you guys if there's a table for me to do so. And if not, I'll see you afterwards. got home for my nails and played like always I'm so sad like I'm ready to fly to Texas where my friend lives to get my nails done these are my nails so ugly this is what I asked for just nude pretty feminine this is what I got I'm the meme I'm the TikTok of what I asked for this is what I wanted and this is what I got when I get to Miami they're getting ripped off they're getting redone Ugh. Tell me why, tell me, tell me why this was 110 with a tip. Look up close. I could have done better than this. Can you see this? What? What is this? 110 with a tip and my feet, I got the plain white gel polish like I always get. 60 with a tip. For what? And then I had a tip valet because they had valet. And they, I kept trying to reach my meter and they had the front engines blocked off because it was like... <laughs> Whatever. I'm so annoyed. My back hurts. I need to get something to eat. Look how shiny I am. I have sunscreen on. I haven't even started packing. I was going to do a pack with me, but who knows? I have to pack. I just checked in for my flight late. Anyways. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll check in with you soon. Hi, guys. So, it is Saturday evening right now. I think it's around maybe like 6 o'clock. Let me see. Oh, it's almost 7. Um, still have yet to pack. Um, I was supposed to film a video yesterday, like a pack with me, travel essentials video. But, um, I wasn't feeling good. I was in bed all day, so I'm out to pack right now. Luckily, I have my packing list on my iPad. Um, I just, like, categorize it by room. So it's, like, bathroom, bedroom slash closet, kitchen slash living room, office. 
Um, so it'll be pretty easy. I already pretty much know what I'm packing. Um, so I'm going to get out like my packing cubes, my suitcase. Um, I'm looking over here because my closet's right here. But yeah, I'm going to get everything together. And I guess I'll just set you guys up on the table and just do like a little time lapse of me packing. Like I said, it should be pretty simple. I'm just going to put like all the clothes in the packing cubes and kind of like categorize it. You know, like um, have my... Oh, you know what? So what I want to show you guys is... I'm going to check a big huge bag which is going to have like the bulk of the stuff but then for the flight I'm actually going to get my little rolly um it's like a little flower cow pack suitcase I'm going to have the carry-on size with all my like valuables and like my cosmetics like my makeup and stuff I don't want to break um it's going to be a challenge with you know like the bottles being under three ounces so I think I'll mostly keep my makeup case in there so that it doesn't get broken like all my you know foundations and eyeshadow palettes i'll keep my makeup case in there i think i'll keep my louis vuitton train case in there just kind of like any valuables like my jewelry anything valuable or anything breakable i'll keep in the carry-on rolly and then everything will be in the big suitcase and then i also have my little base work tote which that's going to be like under the seat that will have my ipad my laptop um Little things like that. I might keep my purse in there or I might just put my purse in the bigger carry-on and just keep like my ID with my wallet in there. So yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. Let's see how long this takes us. Right now, like I said, it's 6.45. So I'm just going to turn on some music and yeah, it's mostly going to be workout clothes because like I'm not going anywhere only for my husband's birthday. Um, we'll probably go to dinner if he's not working. Yeah, I just plan on, like, working out a lot. This week was, like, kind of whatevs. Like, I did every single workout, but I didn't add in any other workouts. Like, I wanted to, like, double up. I wanted to do, like, at least a walk, add it in, or Pilates, or something. And then I did well fasting Monday and Tuesday. And then after that, I did not do well. So I'm kind of just, like, regrouping, resetting. Luckily, Monday is the first. We love a fresh start around here, so... Yeah, I'll just be focused on my health and fitness in Miami. So I'm pretty excited. I'm a little nervous to fly. Um, we're both going to wear our masks and our face shields. I don't know. I was thinking of wearing gloves, but the glove thing kind of like doesn't make sense because if I touch something on the plane and then I touch my like book or something, it's like cross-contaminating. So I'd rather just keep... So I'm going to bring like two of the um containers of clorox wipes with me i normally keep the travel pack to like wipe down the plane that's in a normal circumstance so i'll definitely be wiping everything in the hotel in the plane in the rental car um like if i touch my ipad i'm gonna wipe down my ipad with the thing i'm gonna find a good place to set you up and you can pack with me when i'm done um i'll definitely go over everything of like what i use but i do plan on doing an in-depth travel essential video i did want to combine like a travel essential video with the pack with me it just didn't happen that way but um maybe i can do it like in miami for the way back because i do have to pack then so i'll see you in a minute when we're all done so what i'm doing right now is um kind of like putting everything on my bed in categories of like the pouches i need to put things in my little carry-on work tote all the stuff that's going to go in the main big suitcase so that way I know kind of like what I'm doing. So this is the carry-on and then I put my work tote on top when I'm like wheeling it and then this will go in the overhead bin. And then I have these packing cubes from Amazon which I'll link. This is where I put all my clothes in and makes them super compact. Typically I try to do it by category so I don't know what I'm packing for clothes. Um, I'm going to check the weather right now if I could find, oh here's my phone. I think it's similar to LA, but like I said, it's going to be mostly um, workout clothes that I'm packing. Yeah, it's saying like in the 70s, high 70s or so. Um, some days it's cloudy, some days there's thunder. Like how do you even pack for a month? What? What? And normally when I pack to go somewhere, even if it's like five days, I wear the same outfit every day, so I don't know what I'm doing with this.
Okay, so this is a mess, but let me show you so far what we're doing. Okay, so down here, this is the big one that's going to get checked. So down here, I have my shoes, so I have my little sandals, my white sneakers that slip on, my heel for dinner. This is like when I do a lot of walking. Um, this is like a more supportive Nike, this one here. Um, this is like cute for like an outfit, a little more dress up. It's a platform um, for my dress too. We got a pack of liquid IV, tampons. We got the waist trainers for working out here. This is for like um, walking, running, hiking. It has like a water bottle for your waist. This is a little fanny. Then the bed is a mess. So these are all the clothes I took out that I thought I was going to wear. Then those are the little packs. So that's what I need to do right now is... Um, sort through like what will I actually wear like don't play yourself because I always oh yeah I'm gonna wear all these outfits I wear the same thing so I'm gonna get like all the workout outfits I actually wear I gotta get stuff from my dresser over there like more workout stuff bra socks all that kind of stuff's over there um and then right now right now I want to pack my jewelry so I just have it on this little stand um and then I have this jewelry box I don't know if I ever showed you guys this it's so cute. It's Stony Clover, all those pouches I show you. And this Stephanie, I don't know if you follow her. I think it's called Ring Concierge on Instagram. It'll be linked. Look how nice this is. So you open it and you can put all your necklaces and bracelets here. Rings here. Stuff here. On the bottom, the lighting's kind of bad. You can like lift this up. It's three layers. I don't even know why I'm taking jewelry because it's like... I don't really need to wear jewelry unless we're going out, but... I like having my little rings here. I'll bring, you know, like a necklace or so. Maybe a bracelet. I don't know. And then, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this either. This is from Key Australia. And this holds all your sunnies. Um, and I also, I need to bring my blue lights for sure. But I also have like a little um, container from Key that holds several sunglasses. I think it's in my office, so I need to find it because... I probably want to bring these Porsche dupes. These are from Amazon. I'll link them. I definitely need my blue lights on the plane. I'm taking my new Fendi ones. I've showed you guys this, I think. My husband got me these for Christmas. They're like the Fendi print ones. I don't know, it has too much to focus on, but yeah. So I need to do that, but I'm going to set you guys up right here while I pack my jewelry. And if I don't end up needing a lot, um, I might just put them in a little pouch and pack them in my, um, like, Louis toiletry bag. Because I don't know how much I'm going to need. Let's see first, and then we'll see about packing it. These are my two favorite rings. This, I don't know if I showed you guys, I got this from Etsy. I don't know if you can see it. But this is, like, a little, like, belly chain. You kind of, like, put it on as waist beads. I don't know if you ever heard about waist beads. It's like something you put around your waist to track your progress if you're getting smaller. So I got it to the point where I can start it off really tight and then make it smaller or it just goes lower on your waist. So you could get that. What do I like wearing in my ears? This one. Where's the matching? Oh, I like these rings too. This one. Oh, I need to find my cuffs. My ear cuffs are in my purse. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had to find my little ear cuffs. So I put those on. And I like my studs. I don't know when I'm wearing this. This will literally be worn like one or two nights, but that's fine. A necklace. This necklace is fine. This one's fine. Oh, and my anklets. These were my wedding bracelets, if you haven't seen them. Kitty. I wanted my anklets. <laughs> so... Oh yeah, I should take a jador. Should I take this? Why not? My big hoops, why not? So I guess I am packing my jewelry in here. So let's put it in. I may as well take these two and these two. By the way, just a little commentary. I texted my friend in um, Texas that used to do my nails. She just moved out there. And I told her how I was dying over my nails, how bad they were. I was like, I wish you were here. By the way, the first time I ever used this, I packed it and it was getting like marks on the leather. So I got to somehow like wrap it in like a dust bag or something. 
I wish I had more rings. Well, I have these big ones, but I don't think I'd wear them. Oops. We'll just get thrown underneath. Can they fit underneath? Oops. They'll fit there. With these nails, I don't feel like putting all the posts in. So all the little earrings are going to go loose in here. In the pouch. I'm going to put all the chains up here. I think the bracelets can go there too, but... The jewelry box is done. These are like my necklaces and anklets. You unsnap this and you hang it and then you tuck it in this pouch so it doesn't get tangled. Here's all the rings. This is a little pouch. All those studs are in there. I don't know if you can see the lighting. You can put the studs in these little holes. I don't have patience with my nails. Um, these are going to put bigger, fatter rings. I put my little J'adore um, bracelet on the side. And then underneath I just have my hoops and my bracelet and then there's little holes there too so i think it's kind of cute i'm definitely putting this in my rolly carry-on with me because i feel like someone will steal it none of this is expensive jewelry um like probably all under what 200 like each like nothing goes over 200 but you know someone will see this and be like eh, let me steal this so yeah that is it um i'll pick out the glasses i want to take i don't want to be extra and take too many uh, we'll get the cases for my office, but I think what I want to do is go through the clothes after this because that's like a big task. Okay, it is now 9.17. I had only done an hour of work from 6.45 when I saw you till 7.45. Then I had to take a break and go to my sister's and get um, these Ziploc baggies for the liquid. Let me show you what I have going on real quick. So this is like the checked one, but the problem is that I still have to add all the beauty stuff that I can't put in the other one in here. And I have to make sure it doesn't weigh over 50 pounds. So right now I'm going to move on to the bathroom, do the beauty stuff, and then we just have my office and I think workout stuff. Let's pull up the iPad. Hold on. Yeah, I just need, I got vitamins and aspirins already. I just need to do my workout stuff and then bathroom stuff and then office stuff. I don't think I'm going to bring my Glamcore lights. They're kind of big. I think I'm going to bring the travel ring light, so that's not going to go. So... Yes, let's try to do this quick because I'm tired. I have to wake up at 3 a.m. office now I wash my face and my little mascara is all messed up but I'm gonna pack up here and then I'm done and I'll go to bed guys it's 10 30 at night I'm completely done 
Um, yeah, I weighed the big bag I'm checking. Luckily, thank God, it was 47 pounds. Or else I'd pay $100 if it was over 50. I packed a little carry-on. I packed my little work bag. I got my outfit picked out. I'm going to wear the most, like, scrub sweats possible because the plane is so nasty to me. Like, I'm going to rip the clothes off as soon as I get off the flight. I have a whole tub of wipes. I have a small thing of wipes. I have alcohol. I have three sanitizers. Did I put any masks? Oh, my God. I packed my masks in the big bag. I'll have to undo the bag and get the mask. Okay, good night. <laughs> Hello. Say hi. What's up? We just got our car. Um, the guy came to the airport to pick us up because he thought he wanted to swap out the car, but then we didn't. We just kept the same car. The way our budget works. Well, because they wanted six grand. Well, they, they actually said they would give us a deal and it wouldn't be the exact 200 a day. But the car, this car is paid for, but he wanted an upgrade. So, anyways, we just got this car. We're going to the hotel. He didn't go to sleep at all last night. I got a few hours. I'm dead, I look like a zombie. I slept on the plane for a little bit. Um, but we're both just really tired. See you at the hotel room. Give you a tour <laughs> of our little humble, what is it, a condo? Condo hotel? <laughs> it's like, whatevs, you know? So, we'll see you there. I'd like to um, start the vlog from the room with this face. <laughs> now, he might regret his words, okay? Because this man tells me that he's not picky, he's not demanding, it's fine, everything's great with him. Let me tell you, when we were out here last time from his other client, it was kind of like a rival of his client, we'll just say that because we can't say too much. <laughs> but they put us, us by, us, it's him. Like they put us, but they put him at the SLS hotel. We had a Challenger um, rent a car. Then they gave us a Toyota Corolla. Our luggage couldn't even fit in the trunk. Then when we finally got to the hotel, we had to look for parking for, what was it, almost two hours, right? He looks like he saw a ghost. Probably almost two hours. There's not a single parking spot. The hotel, hotel, hotel doesn't have parking for their guests. There's no front desk. So if you go downstairs, there's no lobby. It's just the elevator up and then like the backside of restaurants. There's like a pizza place, a gelato place, another cafe. It's kind of like abandoned. So we're calling all these people to try to get, you know, like, hey, how do we get in our room? How do we get in our room? And this nice older man with a dog was trying to help me, like, he stays here often. And then we came to the room. You're getting a little sneak peek behind me. <laughs> we both haven't sat down yet. I've been sitting on my suitcase because Ray's, he's like a little angel baby, okay? This is like a little cute angel baby he doesn't demand anything he doesn't want anything he doesn't care like i'm the extra one i'm the bougie one he has a problem with this so that's how you know it's bad mind you he's the main reason or what's the what's the word ray he's he's the only way that the music will get done that the music will sound good like if they don't have him they don't have music they don't have the album they don't have anything and this client's staying on a 14 million dollar beachfront house and they took a private jet here. And let me just give you a quick overview of what we're looking at and why we won't sit down, okay? Oh, here's the front door. <laughs> Cute. It actually has AC, which is surprising, with a little water leakage. <laughs> this is the kitchen where we're gonna prep all our healthy meals with a mini fridge. And then this is the stove. We need uh, minis. Why refrigerators? <laughs> Insert clip of Nini now. 
This, honey. I was shocked, honey. I was in tears almost. And it has a white refrigerator. I was like, oh, oh, not a white refrigerator. Girl, please put your shoes on. Let's go find you a home, honey. Ooh. This is some um, mirror they thought looked great. It's like seven different unmatching IKEA desk chairs, some paintings. What are these, Ray? Miami Beach vintage photos. Uh, we're facing a street, so you know, lots of good sleep. Lots of good sleep. There's bars on the window. We don't know what that's about. Um, let's see. Here's our stuff because we haven't moved. I've been sitting on this suitcase. Um, yeah, this is a little weird. Like, why is everything crooked and like stained? And then, like, this. <laughs> this is this. Um, this is probably the best part. It kind of gives you like a cool vibe. And then it has this like Ikea chair and the Ikea table. And then you're like, oh, what's this? Oh, it's just the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom. I was telling Ray, I want to get so much content. I want to take photos and do cool videos. Mm. Hi, guys. It's so late right now. I think it's... Uh, 11.30, let me check. Oh yeah, I thought it was 10.30, yeah, it's 11.30. And today has been a mess. I updated you at the hotel, <laughs> hotel, and gave you the tour last, right? So then my husband um, FaceTime with his friend at the label. So essentially, without saying too much, it's like his friend, works at a label who's an A&R who runs stuff. But the label, I believe, like the bigger label with like a lot of people was the one that booked it. <laughs> I don't know what happened to be honest. So he FaceTimed his friend and he sent photos and he showed him like, what is this? Like this feels gross. So then we decided to get out of the room. We went for like a super long walk, like along the beach and like where the restaurants are on Ocean Ave. And then we stopped and got um, Pink Taco. They actually have it in LA too. So we just shared like appetizers and um, I got a virgin pina colada, no alcohol and a little pineapple. So that was pretty cute. So we had a good time and then like we walked back half of the way and then my back was just like pinching and burning. So then we got on these like city bikes. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. Um, they have them in New York too. So we did like the city bikes back to the hotel. And then I was under the impression that we were leaving immediately to switch hotels because they were trying to like book the Hyatt for him. Then he had to, okay, so then he was like, no, I'm still waiting on confirmation because it has to go through a travel agent. And mind you, they're on East Coast time. Oh, I'm on East Coast time. <laughs> I'm on the East Coast too. So they're on East Coast time and it it's a Sunday, you know? So it's like, I have that confused because I was like, oh, it was 1 a.m. for them, 9 p.m. for us. But we're in the East Coast. So I have no idea to be honest, but um, we were waiting for them to book. Then he had to go to the house that his client is staying at to like make sure the studio equipment's all set up and ready for this week. Um, and then they sent him the um, like confirmation of the new hotel. So I waited for him then. Mind you, before we, before he went to work, we took a nap because we both haven't slept. Well, he didn't go to sleep at all last night. I barely slept three hours. And the night before, I barely slept. I just haven't been doing good. Um, so then he came back from working and I, we just got all the stuff. And then we came over to the new hotel, which is a Hyatt. But like the Miami Beach area is kind of like on its own island if you've never been here. I'm not too familiar because it's my second time here. But it's like Miami Beach is one island and then there's like a bridge over to like the downtown area where there's like an arts district, kind of like typical downtown of any city. So now we're staying here for the month. But now if I want to go to the beach and do my daily beach walks like I was so excited to do, I would have to drive the car. So I might end up like dropping my husband at work so I can have the car. And then they're also giving him like a per diem so he said he might be able to Uber. I don't know, we're gonna work it out. I was like super just like disappointed because I have like this whole thing in my head of like 
what I want to do. But the good thing is they have a gym here. So I don't have to join a gym. I don't have to go buy dumbbells. And across the street is a Whole Foods. So we can be skinny, healthy queens. So that's exciting. Um, right now, he's actually downstairs talking to the guy at the front desk because we just literally came up to the room and um, he's asking them to swap it. So my husband's talking to the guy and the funniest thing that happened, I was waiting by the bags like while he checked in and was talking to the guy. Oh, I look really rough. I apologize. Wow, this is great. This is a long day of travel. I'm gonna shower as soon as we can get our room and unpack. Um, but he was talking to the guy and then the guy said, oh, the card name is under blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like um, the client my husband's working with, it's under her personal credit card. <laughs> and then and then, and then, then my husband goes, yeah. And then he goes, like the singer? And my husband goes, shh. And then he goes, okay. <laughs> Cause like, you're not, like no one's supposed to know, you know, like they don't, she's very, very discreet and, and, they don't want any details. They don't want like anything out there. So that's why I can't tell you guys stuff. I'm not trying to be cute like the YouTubers that were like, oh, I'm working on a secret project. I can't tell you. No, like I literally cannot tell you because we'll get sued. Like my husband signed an NDA. So we'll literally get sued and he would lose his job if I probably, I don't know if, if I mentioned her name, but at this point, because I vlog my life, like it would be too much if you knew her name. So. I cannot tell you for legal purposes. Um, but yeah, I'm tired of looking this rough. So I'm gonna wait for him to come up to see if we're swapping rooms and then I'm literally gonna shower and go to sleep. My husband thinks because we're on West Coast time, like for example, it's 11.30 here, like, oh, it's still early back home. Like we shouldn't be tired, we should go eat, we should do this and that. I'm tired, <laughs> I wanna go to sleep. So, um, yeah, I will try to give you a little hotel room tour. It's not that exciting. It's literally a Hyatt. It's like a basic Hyatt. Like, it's just it's just a little hotel room. It's nothing exciting. Um, so I'll try to do that for you if I have time before I take a shower because I just want to go to sleep. Okay, guys, they upgraded us to a suite. Here's our cute little room. So hi, here's our little closet. I'll be able to hang all my stuff and put my workout outfits out. Oh, there's an extra fridge, right? For like wadis and stuff. Just a little basic sink with a beauty makeup light. A little ratchet bath. There's a little wall here. Hi. A lot different reaction than the first video tour. <laughs> little baby. Then we got this cute little office section. This is a nice little living room, and there's so much space here. If I chose to work out, I could just move this coffee table. This is like way bigger than the living room at home that I work out in. So it's a whole bigger space. What? It's a, it's a lot of space. I'm so tired. Then this is our little view. Okay, it's got hit in the face. This is the view. We're on one of the higher floors. Cute. Then more space, dresser space. This will be good so I can actually unpack. I have so many workout outfits. Then this TV spins, so if you're in the room, like the little bedroom part, you can watch it or you can watch it over here in the living room. Ta-da! Wow, are you comfortable? Yeah, this is a bed. Yeah, it's a sofa bed. Cute. And then this is the bed. Is this a king? It is a king. Cute. So yeah, it's like tons of space, which is nice because we're gonna be here for a month and then they might also extend it two more weeks, but we'd be in a different hotel. Wanna know what's funny? What? It's probably just as big as the, the first room that we had. The first hotel? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so because that's supposed to be a condo or an apartment. Yeah. But the cleanliness, sir. Oh, there's, there's no comparison. Yeah, that's why, and also the hotel actually yeah. has a front desk has a gym, it has a pool, it has Just amenities. Take a look at the fact that I'm actually doing this because if you look at the other video, I'm in the corner. And I'm not <laughs> On the <laughs> stool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this this is a lot of space. The other one, Ray, why did it have so much furniture? It had, are you focused? There you are. Um, it had so much furniture. It had like three futons, 17 different desk chairs, uh, then the bed in the room and then 
a chair and another stool, and then those clown curtains. <laughs> the '90s door curtain. Yeah, but that they, was it. Was rubber. Yeah. yeah, but this one it's nice because this little thing is separate, so like Ray can be sleeping and I can be like showering over here after my workout and not waking him. He can be over here at night while I'm sleeping over here because you know we have different sleep schedules. And it's like cute because we have a lot of space. I'm into it. I saw, I was vlogging in the other room. I look terrible. But that is it for this vlog. Hope that you loved our chaos. And I'll see you tomorrow for a new vlog.